How about this live look down toward Perrysburg where the raindrops are just dripping down the camera lens and it's been doing this much of the day. A near washout as we've had uh, rain from sun up to what likely will be sundown for many areas. It is drying up a little bit south of Toledo, but overall it's still it's going to be a damp feeling evening. So question is when do you get dry weather over the course of the weekend? We get evening rain on Saturday, so that will mean mainly dry weather in the morning and through most of the afternoon. The highs are going to jump into the 60s, so we'll have a pocket of some decent weather tomorrow before some evening rain and storms return. So that lawn no doubt is getting quite long. You maybe need to run that mower tomorrow after the washout today. Cloudy and 50s first thing in the morning. We're going to be into the 60s through the afternoon. Thicker clouds may get a couple peaks of sun. I'm not expecting it to be widespread. Good opportunity to get that yard work done early in the day before those showers and storms and rain become likely after 5 o'clock Saturday. So we'll time that out in just a few moments. But here's what we're dealing with this evening. Area of low pressure still spinning. Very slow moving area low pressure. It's drawing up some of those rain showers into Ohio, and I do expect it's going to continue with at least some showers and drizzle across the parts of the area. Most of it occurring now north and west of the Toledo Metro and across the Toledo Metro. We're still have widespread steadier showers directly over the Toledo Metro as we go into the evening drive. And there's some steadier pockets of rain right along airport highway north up to about Central Avenue. We got steadier showers and steadier rain just about ready to pick up in Sylvania. And how about this pocket of steady rain? We're looking out toward Ottawa River Road I 75 and the headlights are on. The windshield wipers are going and roadways very wet in that particular view as rain continues to come down. We're in the low 50s for most areas, but a couple peaks of sun have actually made their way out down toward Wyandotte and Crawford County into Seneca County back over toward Hancock County. That's allowed us to jump back close to 60 degrees. So there are a couple pockets of some brighter skies far to the south and to the east. Now the hour by hour forecast will still spin up a few of those isolated rain showers through the course of the evening. It'll be a damp evening, spotty showers or areas of drizzle that will continue. We dry out overnight tonight. There's the dry but mainly cloudy skies Saturday morning. A couple peaks of sun that will be possible. We're still dry through 5 o'clock. There's the clock at 5 p.m. and it will be after that that we get some showers and a few rumbles of thunder that race into the area for our Saturday evening. How much additional rainfall? Of course, in the midst of the growing season now could tack on an extra quarter to a half an inch of rain. What's left tonight and again into Saturday. Mainly cloudy skies much of the day. A peak or two of sun. We climb into the low to mid 60s through your Saturday afternoon, but turning cooler very quickly toward the end of the weekend. Sunday back to the mid 50s. Showers are going to be likely cooler, cloudy and brisk conditions. Monday and Tuesday unseasonably cold to start the month of May. Highs in the upper 40s, cold, chilly rain showers. And it may take us till the end of next week to climb back into the mid 60s Friday, Saturday and Sunday of next week.